what's up everyone and welcome back to our channel for today's video we're going to walk you through on how to remove or disable mfa which is also known as multi-factor authentication in salesforce but before we dive in into all of that make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content but let me just uh clarify what is multi-factor authentication in salesforce salesforce mfa also known as two-factor authentication 2fa is a security feature used in salesforce and many other applications to provide an extra layer of uh, protection for user accounts so basically it enhances the security of your salesforce environment by requiring users to provide two or more forms of authentication before they can assess their accounts, right? So typically it involves something the user knows like password and something the user has like a mobile device or a security token. So first off, all you gotta do is um, go to the web browser of your choice. I'm using Google Chrome right now. It's compatible with Brave, Microsoft Edge, Safari and all that. And then when you are in salesforce you don't if you do not have an account yet please create one and once you successfully created an account log in with your credentials all right so and and hover here to the gear icon setting at the uppermost part of your dashboard where it says setup All right, so in your setup, you can go to um, multi-factor authentication assistant, right? Just go there, right? You will be given a lot of um, information here. You can review the MFA and whatnot. And also, there's also um, another step wherein all I gotta do is quick find and type in a session setting. When you click on session setting, it will give you to this window. So you have the multi-factor authentication. You can just click that, remove, okay? That's it, that's a walk in the park for you. Now, if you, remove the mfa in salesforce definitely it will give you a lot of uh, advantages because sometimes you know mfa can be seen as an inconvenience by users disabling it temporarily may improve user experience and reduce the time and effort required for authentication and also in some cases when you have you are troubleshooting login or access issues no you may want to temporarily disable MFA to isolate and identify the problem. So once the issue is resolved, you can re-enable MFA, right? And also, if, um, if users are experiencing difficulties with um, MFA's methods, for example, uh, they have lost their hardware token or have trouble receiving SMS code, temporarily doing that will help them regain access to their accounts, okay? And also, you might want to consider the potential risks and limitations of disabling mfa so because it, it has pros and cons right so we're going to the cons right now so disabling mfa weakens the security of your sales force accounts so without the extra layer of protection accounts become more vulnerable to unauthorized access especially in the event of password compromise so disabling mfa may not be compliant with uh, certain security standards of regulations with when uh when used it can mandate the use of mfa in certain industries or for certain types of data so if mfa dis is disabled users are more susceptible to phishing attacks you know uh brute force passwords attack or other security threats that mfa helps mitigate and, and finally disabling mfa should just be a temporary solution once the underlying issues are resolved it is highly advisable to re-enable MFA to maintain the security of your Salesforce environment. And in most cases, guys, it's recommended to explore other solutions to address 
the specific issues you're facing with MFA rather than just labeling it outright, right? So it, it may include providing better supports for users, offering alternative MFA methods, or investigating the root cause of any problems. Always remember, guys, security should be a top priority in protecting your Salesforce data and systems. And once again, if you find this video helpful, guys, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will probably see you in the next video. And I just wanted to take a moment to express my deepest gratitudes for all of you who supports our channel. Like relentlessly sharing our media links to their friends and family and colleagues. I cannot thank you enough. And yeah, see you on the next one.